Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, challenges and triumphs. It's a constant battle between our inner strength and weaknesses while we all aspire to live a life of purpose and resilience. There are habits that often hold us back from reaching our full potential in this transformative journey. We will explore eight habits that make you weak and learn how to overcome them. Using the principles of Stoicism, Stoicism and ancient Greek philosophy, founded by Zeno of Citium in the early 3rd century BC, offers timeless wisdom that can help us navigate the complexities of modern life. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control to cultivate virtue, like wisdom, courage, self-discipline, and to accept the inevitable challenges of life with grace and resilience. As we delve into these eight habits, remember that self-awareness is, is the first step towards transformation. By recognizing and acknowledging these habits within ourselves, we can begin the journey of replacing them with stoic principles that will empower us to lead a life of strength, purpose, and inner peace. Habit. Habit 1. Procrastination of Time. Number 1. Procrastination of Time. Epictetus said, The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best progress destination. The act of postponing tasks and responsibilities is a habit that plagues many of us. It weakens our resolve, hinders our progress, and ultimately robs us of precious time that could be invested in personal growth and meaningful endeavors. The historic remedy for procrastination lies in the concept of carpedm, or seizing the day in Stoicism. The focus is on the present moment moment and making the most of it. Procrastination, on the other hand, is rooted in anxiety about the future or the discomfort of the task at hand. To overcome this habit, we must adopt a stoic mindset and remind ourselves that the only time we truly have control over is now. Epicus, a stoic philosopher, advised us to focus on what is within our control and let go of what is not. Procrastination often arises from fixating on the potential outcomes or the difficulties of a task, rather than simply taking action by adopting the stoic principle of focusing on the process, rather than the outcome we can break free from the chains of procrastination. Start by setting small, manageable goals and consistently work towards them. Embrace the discomfort and uncertainty of the present moment. For it is in these moments of challenge that we grow and develop the strength to face larger tasks. Remember that time is a finite resource and each day you delay is a day lost forever that will empower us to lead a life of strength, purpose and inner peace. Habit number two. Habit two. Negative self-talk. Negative self-talk. Marcus Aurelius said, Our life is what our thoughts make it. The way we speak to ourselves has a profound impact on our self-esteem, confidence and overall well-being. Negative self-talk is a habit that weakens us by eroding our self-belief and preventing us from realizing our true potential stoicism teaches us to take control of our thoughts and replace negativity with rationality and self-compassion. Marcus Aurelius, one of the most renowned historic philosophers and Roman emperors, emphasized the importance of monetary. During our inner dialogue, he believed that our perception of the world is shaped by our thoughts, and therefore we must strive to maintain a positive and rational mindset to combat negative self-talk. Begin by observing your thoughts without judgment. Notice when self-criticism or self-doubt creeps in and challenge these thoughts with rationality. Ask yourself whether these thoughts are based on evidence or merely product of fear and insecurity. Stoicism encourages us to practice self-compassion, treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a friend facing a similar situation, instead of berating yourself for mistakes or perceived shortcomings. Focus on what you can learn from them and how you can improve as you replace negative self-talk with stoic principles of rationality and self-compassion. 
you'll discover an inner strength and resilience that will empower you to face life's challenges with confidence and grace habit number. Habit 3. Avoiding Challenges 3. Avoiding Challenges If you want to improve yourself, be willing to let others think you are foolish and ignorant. Avoiding challenges and staying in your comfort zone is a habit that weakens your development and potential. It prevents you from developing patience, courage and adaptability to new situations. Music, stoic philosophy, teaches us to face discomfort and difficulties as opportunities for self-improvement. Epicus believed that personal growth and self-mastery often come from facing challenges and pushing our boundaries. Facing the avoidance of challenges is considered important for personal development and self-improvement. Stoics believe that by voluntarily facing difficult situations, we develop patience, enhance our moral morality, and gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In modern society, people often seek comfort and avoid any form of discomfort. We tend to choose the easiest path pre for convenience and immediate gratification. While this may provide temporary relief, it can hinder long-term development and prevent use from reaching our full potential by avoiding challenges. We miss or label opportunities to grow and explore ourselves. Stoic philosophy teaches us that true strength lies in the ability to face difficulties directly and with patience. It is through these challenges that we learn important lessons, develop patience and enhance virtues such as courage, perseverance and resilience. When we constantly seek comfort and avoid challenges, we limit our personal and intellectual growth. We become stagnant and fail to fully realize our potential. Stoics encourage us to step out of our comfort zone and engage in activities that push us beyond our limits. By doing so, we not only expand our capabilities, but also develop greater confidence and personal satisfaction. Furthermore, avoiding challenges can lead to a fear of failure when we consistently choose the safe path and avoid risks. We miss opportune unities to learn from mistakes and become stronger. Stoic philosophy teaches us to view failure as a natural part of life and see it as a valuable learning experience. Why facing failure with a Stoic mindset? We can draw wisdom from our failures and use it to propel ourselves forward. It is important to note that seeking discomfort does not mean intentionally seeking unnecessary suffering. Stoic philosophy does not recommend causing ourselves unnecessary pain. Instead, it encourages us to face challenges with a calm and rational mind. It's about changing our perspective and understanding that discomfort is a necessary part of life that can lead to growth and self-improvement. By actively seeking challenges and discomfort, we develop personal control. We learn to rely on our ethics and inner strength rather than external circumstances as Stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on what we can control, which is our thoughts, actions and reactions to the challenges we face. We become less dependent on external factors for our happiness and prosperity. Applying Stoic principles to our lives can have a profound impact. It allows us to approach life with a sense of purpose and patience. We become better equipped to deal with difficulties, failure for and unexpected events. Instead of being overwhelmed by challenges, we learn to embrace them as opportunities for growth and self-improvement, to maintain a stoic mindset and see it through. It is important to approach this topic with an open mind and be ready to challenge our current beliefs and habits by recognizing the tendency to avoid discomfort and embracing stoic principles of facing challenges. Directly, we can develop a strong, flexible mindset focused on personal development. So embrace discomfort and challenges and start the journey of self-discovery and self-improvement habit. Number four, indulging in excessive habit four, indulging in excessive materialism. Materialism, 
The excessive connection to materialism in Stoic philosophy is habit number four. On the list, it emphasizes the importance of choosing morality and inner values over material possessions. But when materialism consumes us excessively, we run the risk of forgetting what's important and never being fully satisfied in the modern world where materialism is paramount. It's simple to get sucked into the chase of financial success. We frequently think that having a large number of stuff will make us happy and fulfilled. Stoic philosophy, on the other hand, serves as a reminder that things outside of our control are ultim, lie transient. They may be misplaced, pilfered, or destroyed. We put ourselves in a precarious situation of ongoing disappointment and discontent when we depend on them for happiness. When we equate monetary goods with happiness and self-worth, we breed a never-ending thirst for more. We can develop an obsession with amassing wealth, searching ceaselessly for the next great opportunity or the newest technical advancement. This never-ending want might result in eternal discontent, since there's always something fresh to yearn for, or someone better off than us. Renowned Stoic philosopher Seneca highlighted the significance of differentiating between requirements and wants over indulgence in material possessions is a result of both the false hope that ownership will provide happiness for all time and the constant need for more. The Stoic school of thought challenges us to re-evaluate our wants and give priority to those that are consistent with our well-being and ideals to break the excessive materialistic habit. Begin by learning to be content with what you currently own. Understand that pursuing worldly goods can frequently result in a vicious cycle of want and unhappiness. Instead, concentrate on cultivating values like compassion, bravery and wisdom. These are the real places to find fulfillment. The Stoic school of thought encourages us to place more emphasis on cultivating our inner values than on acquiring material goods characteristics that are under our control and can result in long-lasting satisfaction include justice, courage, wisdom and calmness. We might discover a deep sense of meaning and fulfillment in life by valuing these qualities and making an effort to cultivate them. Furthermore, an overindulgence in materialism might result in uneasiness and insecurity. We could continuously be afraid of losing what we have or make comparisons to someone who appear to have more. This attachment prevents us from living in peace and tranquility by starting a vicious cycle of jealousy and dread. Stoic philosophy teaches us to exercise detachment in order to break free from this habit. This does not imply that we should give up all material belongings. Rather, we ought to cultivate a positive rapport with them. Realize that rather than being a source of pleasure or approval, things are actually instruments that may be used to enhance our lives and the lives of others, practicing thankfulness, which involves focusing on what really matters and being grateful for what we have, is one technique to help create detachment. We have the power to foster contentment and lessen our reliance on material belongings. Additionally, by escaping the grip of consumerism, we can embrace minimalism, simplifying our lives and letting go of pointless distractions. We can conform our behavior to stoic ideals. We can concentrate on cultivating virtues, creating deep relationships with others and making positive contributions to society. This mental adjustment enables us to live a stoic life and experience true satisfaction. In conclusion, an overabundance of material attachments undermines our ability to practice Stoic philosophy. It diverts our attention from internal values and the pursuit of long-term contentment. We can break free from the cycle of want and find full fulfillment in the growth of virtues and Stoic life by realizing the transient nature of external things and practicing detachment habit number five. Seeking Habit 5 Seeking external validation, external validation. It is a habit that can undermine your stoic philosophy practice to look for outside validation. 
The Stoic school of thought emphasizes the value of putting more emphasis on one's own virtues than on winning over other people. Over-reliance on outside validation might weaken your independence and make you reliant on other people's opinions because social media platforms are becoming more and more prominent in today's culture. Getting acceptance from others has become normal. We frequently depend our sense of happiness and self-worth on how many likes, comments and follows we get dependence on the views and approval of others can result in a fragile sense of self-worth due to the persistent need for acceptance. Stoic philosophy, however, serves as a reminder that true contentment and happiness originate within the significance of cultivating characteristics like wisdom, courage, justice and self-control is emphasized by Stoic philosophers. These virtues are independent of other people's acceptance or opinions, rather they are traits we are able to develop and strengthen within ourselves, independent of the environment around us. We cede our power when we look to other people for approval all the time. We grow susceptible to shifting viewpoints and start to base our self-worth on their acceptance. This might result in a never-ending search for approval from others which makes it challenging to discover inner peace and fulfillment. Think about an example to help you understand this practice. Let's say you've worked very hard and are proud of the blog article you've published. Rather of appreciating the worth of your effort and the fulfillment, it provides you instantly look for validation by counting the amount of views, likes and comments you feel let down and start to question the worth of your work. If the feedback is not what you were hoping for, relying on validation from others undermines your self-worth and reduces the inherent worth of your endeavors. How therefore can we break out from this pattern and strengthen our stoic philosophy practice? First of all, it's critical to understand that chasing after outside acceptance is transient and frequently beyond of our control. People's opinions might shift, therefore trying to win them over is a never-ending endeavor. Rather concentrate on cultivating inner virtues and directing your behavior in accordance with stoic ideals, develop self-acceptance and self-awareness. When pursuing approval, be aware of your feelings and ideas. Consider whether it genuinely fits with your values and objectives and ask yourself why you require acceptance from others. Recall that your activities and character establish your value rather than the views of others gain self-assurance in your capacity to evaluate and decide for yourself by assessing your acts in light of stoic ideals, you might work toward internal acceptance. Put more emphasis on your own growth and development than on how you compare to other people. Recognize that your joy and happiness originate internally, not elsewhere. Instead of surrounding yourself with people who continually criticize or make you feel self-conscious, surround yourself with people who value and promote your growth. Seek input from people you can trust and who genuinely care about you. But keep in mind that your work shouldn't be defined by their ideas to sum up the habit of always seeking acceptance from others undermines the practice of Stoic philosophy since it fails to acknowledge the pointlessness of depending on other people's judgments to evaluate oneself. We might concentrate on cultivating virtues within and achieving inner satisfaction. Develop self-awareness and a community of support. You can improve your use of Stoic philosophy and live a more morally satisfying life. Habit Number 6 Inability to cope with habit six. Inability to cope with negative emotions. Negative emotions, the stoic school of thought emphasizes the value of reason and the necessity of controlling our emotions. But we are unable to remain composed and behave honorably when we give in to unpleasant feelings like jealousy, anxiety, or rage. Let's explore this subject in more detail and discover how giving in to unfavorable feelings affects both our stoic practice and general well-being emotions that are negative in some way suppress logic and impair judgment. We frequently respond hastily and say or do things we later regret when anger takes over. Envy can cause us to feel resentful and bitter, 
which can hurt our relationships and immobilize us so that we are unable to take required risks or face obstacles. These feelings not only impair our judgment, but they also prevent us from growing in the qualities of self-control, kindness and patience. Emotions are viewed in Stoic philosophy as impressions that result from our assessment of the outside world Stoics hold that we are in charge of our assessments and thus our feelings. Through engaging in mindfulness and self-awareness practices, we can scrutinize our ideas and assessments, confront thoughts that elicit negative emotions, and cultivate thoughts that align with logic and morality. Apathy is one of the core ideas of Stoic philosophy. Complete emotional detachment is a concept that's often misinterpreted, but it's, it's really about building emotional resilience and preserving inner peace in the face of adversity, not about rejecting or repressing feelings, while Stoics accept that unpleasant feelings are normal and inevitable, they advise us to deal with them rationally and with restraint. So how can we improve our Stoic practice and break the pattern of giving in to bad emotions? These are a few tactics, but for one, develop mindful through mindfulness practices, which help us become more conscious of our feelings. As they come up by practicing mindfulness, we may watch our thoughts and feelings without becoming consumed by them. This consciousness gives us the chance to stop and select a more deliberate reaction rather than acting on impulse too. Cast doubt on your assessments. Examine the underlying assessments that are causing unpleasant emotions to surface when they do. Are your conclusions based on a fair analysis of the circumstances or are they skewed by prejudice or unfounded beliefs? Restructuring and challenging these assessments can assist in altering your viewpoint and lowering the severity of unfavorable feelings. Number 3. Make self-reflection a regular habit. Consider your ideas, deeds, and the results of them. Recognize the patterns that keep coming up and see what other responses you can have by reflecting on yourself you can find areas where you could improve and create practical techniques for handling your emotions. The four, choose virtue above retaliation. When you're feeling bitter or angry, remind yourself of the stoic ideal of putting morality above vengeance or fostering animosity. When acting out of negative emotions, think about the long, long-term effects and make an effort to respond in a way that is forgiving Compassionate and kind of five, welcome calmness. The Stoic school of thought encourages us to accept the things we cannot change and concentrate on the things we can acquire, a calm attitude, understanding that things happen to you and that other people cannot influence you. You can discover serenity by letting go of the impulse to control everything and lessen the effects of unpleasant emotions by regularly putting the techniques into practice. We can improve our stoic practice and lessen our tendency to give in to negative emotions. It's critical to keep in mind that this procedure requires patience and work. Even if we could make mistakes along the road, every setback offers a chance for development and education. Embrace the stoic values of self-awareness and tenacity as you work toward a more moral and fulfilling existence. In conclusion, the practice of Stoicism is undermined when we let our negative emotions control our behavior. Instead, we should cultivate awareness, examine our judgments, engage in self-reflection, choose virtue over vengeance, and embrace peace. Negative emotions can be gradually lessened in our life. By doing this, we live more morally upright and satisfying lives by harmonizing with stoicism, rationalism, resilience, and inner peace. Habit, the habit seven, dwelling on past mistakes. Seven, dwelling on past mistakes, your ability to practice stoic philosophy may be compromised by your tendency to dwell on previous transgressions. Stoic philosophy encourages us to stop thinking about our faults and instead focus on the here and now, accept what has happened and learn from it. 
but a lot of us frequently find ourselves caught in a vicious cycle of regret, remorse and self-blame that keeps us from moving on and growing as people reliving past mistakes over and over again in our imaginations feeds unpleasant feelings and a sense of immobility. This tendency hinders us from making good changes and really operating the present in addition to impairing our capacity to discover serenity and contentment. Realizing that there is nothing we can do to change the past is one of the fundamental ideas of Stoic philosophy. Remarkably, what truly terrifies and dismays us is not the actual events themselves, but rather the way we interpret them as the Stoic philosopher. Epicus once said, this quotation highlights it's how important it is for our ideas and beliefs to influence how we perceive the outside world. By concentrating on previous errors, we give in to the negative ideas and feelings that consume us and cause needless anguish. Stoic philosophy, on the other hand, urges us to accept the deeds and results of the past, own up to them, and concentrate on what we can do right now to better our situation and ourselves. It's critical to exercise forgiveness and compassion in order to break this behavior. Because we are fallible human beings, mistakes happen. Furthermore, making errors is a necessary component of learning and development. Rather than blaming ourselves for previous transgressions, we should work towards self-acceptance and understanding. It can be beneficial to stop viewing mistakes as failures and instead see them as opportunities for growth. We can see them as worthwhile teachings that advance our own growth. Every error presents a chance for development and advancement adopting. This perspective allows us to put the past behind us and concentrate on the here and now. Mindfulness is another effective method for breaking the habit of thinking back on past errors by bringing our attention to the present. Mindfulness entails focusing on it without passing judgment. We have the ability to escape the loop of regret and give our whole attention to the present moment. Moreover, cultivating an attitude of thankfulness can be highly beneficial in diverting our focus from previous errors. We can change our perspective and foster a sense of fulfillment by developing a practice of thankfulness for the present as well as the lessons learned from the past event EV. It takes deliberate effort and a dedication to putting the tenets of Stoic philosophy into practice to overcome the tendency of brooding over past transgressions. It's critical to keep in mind that we have a choice in how we respond to our history and lingering on regrets will only prevent us from leading happy moral lives by accepting self-compassion engaging in mindfulness exercises and cultive, aiding an attitude of gratitude. We can break free from this habit and develop a more stoic outlook. We have the ability to grow as people learn from our mistakes and focus our energies on pursuing virtue and living in the now to live a more purposeful and moral life. Endeavor to break free from the bonds of regret about the past and adopt the Stoic philosophy's precepts. Habit in the freight, ignore, ignoring the habit eight. Ignoring the well-being of other well-being of others. In Stoic philosophy, the idea of cosmopolitanism highlights the notion that everyone is a member of the human community at large and that we should all be concerned about their well-being. Ignoring other people's needs and suffering can erode our moral virtue and empathy which impedes the development of ethical traits. The Stoic school of thought encourages us to develop virtues like wisdom, justice, courage and moderation, as well as to live in harmony with the natural world. The virtue of benevolence or kindness toward others is one of the core qualities stressed by Stoic philosophy. This idea is broken when we disregard the well-being of others which also has the potential to cause us to become estranged from one another. We lose empathy for other people's problems, needs and suffering. When we don't care about their well-being, this indifference can take many different forms, such as a lack of empathy for the suffering of the less fortunate, 
or a disregard for other people's well-being while failing to offer support or assistance. We lose out on the chance to put empathy and compassion into practice, which are essential for the formation of moral character. Stoic philosophy teaches us that by acknowledging the interdependence of all people, we should see each individual as deserving of respect, consideration and empathy. We can cultivate empathy and take actions that advance other people's well-being. We lose out on the advantages of doing deeds of kindness and generosity when we neglect the well-being of others. Research indicates that deeds of kindness have a favorable effect on the giver's well-being. In addition to the recipient, we can feel content, like we have a purpose and connected when we actively look out for the welfare of other people. In addition, when we disregard the well-being of others, we perpetuate the egocentric perspective that impedes our own growth. According to Stoic philosophy, leading a moral life and acting in a way that upholds morality and reason will bring us true happiness and contentment by disregarding other people's well-being, we become prisoners of our own selfishness and self-interest. When we lose sight of this essential reality to break out from this pattern and fortify our Stoic philosophy practice, we must cultivate empathy and kindness for others. This can be achieved by adopting the virtue of benevolence and actively learning about the viewpoints and experiences of others via deeds of kindness, in addition to upholding the Stoic philosophy. OP we practice we also help to bring about a compassionate and peaceful world by encouraging people's well-being and a feeling of community. We become agents of positive change in conclusion, ignoring the welfare of conclusion. Others is a habit that weakens our practice of Stoic philosophy by recognizing the importance of empathy and good we. We can actively work to overcome this habit and cultivate a greater concern for the welfare of all humanity in doing so. We not only strengthen our own character, but also contribute to the creation of a more ethical and compassionate society through eight habits that make you weak. We have delved deeply into the wisdom of a Stoic philosophy and how its principles can equip us to overcome these habits. All of these habits can be transformed by applying Stoic thinking. Stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on what we can control, nurture virtues and face life's challenges with courage and patience. It encourages us to find happiness in the present moment and relinquish the need for external approval and material possessions. It empowers us to step out of our comfort zone and learn from the past without being bound by regret as you embark on the journey of transforming weakness into two strength. Remember that change takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself and practice stoic principles regularly in your daily life with dedication and perseverance. You can break free from these habits and live a purposeful, resilient and tranquil life. Embrace the teachings of Stoic philosophy. Seek acceptance from within. Replace complaints with gratitude. Prioritize virtue over material wealth. Face challenges with courage and let go of the past by doing so. You will begin a transformational journey that leads you to a life of strength, wisdom and lasting happiness. The journey is yours and the destination is within reach. Seize today and transform your life with Stoic philosophy. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with others who may benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, we hope you will continue to follow us and learn and grow together.